this is Ashley from Oxbow Meadows at Columbus State University. Today, we're going to be looking at turtles and talking about classification. So we're going to be looking at a special group of reptiles called turtles, and we're going to be comparing two different types of turtles. And what I want you to notice or look at is if you can see any similarities or things that are the same and any differences or anything that is unique to each of those two different turtle species. So pay close attention and you'll use your eyes for observations and see what you notice. Start to think of some questions, what you're wondering about these animals. And lastly, what you think about what you can gather from the questions that you're asking and the observations that you're noticing. We're gonna look especially at these adaptations of these two turtle species. I want you to pay close attention in particular to their feet and to the adaptation of their shell. So let's take a closer look and try to see if we can figure out what these adaptations would be good for. Now let's observe a different turtle. Let's compare both turtles side by side. Take a look under the turtle's shell. What did you notice in each of those shells? Welcome back. Now that you've made some observations for two different turtles, what did you notice? Is there anything that you wonder about these turtles? What adaptations in particular did you see? Did you notice when we looked up underneath the turtle's shells that they all had something the same under there? What was that? What bones did you notice up underneath the shell? If you notice their backbone, or sometimes called their vertebrae, you're right, that means that turtles are part of the group of vertebrates, and they belong to the class of reptiles. Did you notice when you were looking at the tortoise, or the, to the turtle with the domed shell, that it had a more rounded shell? Whereas the turtle that was smaller and had a flatter shell was really good at being adapted to survive in the water. That flatter shell helps them to swim in the water, and for the water to go right over top of them, sort of like Dino behind me swimming. Did you notice when you were looking at that land or terrestrial turtle that has that domed shell, that that turtle did not have the same feet 
as that aquatic or water turtle. You may have noticed that the turtle with the domed or rounded shell lives mostly on land, so that means that that turtle doesn't really need to be adapted for swimming. The aquatic turtle with the flat shell had webbed feet. Webbed feet means that they have skin sort of in between their toes that helps them push through the water for swimming. But the land turtles, since they don't really swim, they have different feet for a different reason or a different way to survive. The land turtle had claws on its nails that helped them to dig in the dirt on land to find bugs or insects, other things that it might eat. So now that you've gotten a good look at these two different types of turtles, I want you to go ahead and fill out your worksheet if you haven't already on the similarities, the things that were the same, and anything that was different, why we would classify these turtles differently within that group of reptiles, within that group of turtles. So now that you've taken a good look, I want to know what you think about these turtle comparisons.